So we have Vasi here live on Poptis Presents. Thanks for joining us on the show today. Uh, super excited. She's had some massive collaborations with Tiesto, David Guetta, uh, just to name a few, Afrojack. Um, Vasi, so we understand that you had a degree in architecture, but you oh. ended up in music. Could you tell us a little bit about your journey? Uh, yeah, I, I went to study architecture when I was living in Australia and um, I did that more because my dad wanted me to do it and it was a kind of a, I'll do this if you then let me do this. Okay. And uh, that was my route to getting to, um, I, it, yeah, it, I, I was very good at it and I got a first <laughs> class honors degree in it. So. You just came out with a new record, Doomsday. Could you tell us, tell us a little bit more about that? So Doomsday is my latest record that's out right now. I'm, I'm super excited about it. Um, it's a song that I did with um, a producer called Ladado, and um, we I put it out. It's like my debut release with, I, I have a joint venture right now. I'm really excited about this new collaboration with Sony Red, Red Music. Nice. Um, and we started off with, with Doomsday, and yeah, it's, it's doing really, really well. We're getting a lot of love. It's number three this week on the Billboard Dance Charts. It's, um, it's a top, it's number 10 on the US media dance charts as well, so it's exciting. That's, that's amazing. Uh, hopefully this goes platinum like a few of your other records. That'd Could be you nice. talk to us a little yeah. bit more about yeah. those records? Um, so I have had a couple of records that have gone platinum. Um, I had a record with David Guetta that went multi-platinum, actually 14 times platinum. Okay. Um, that was a couple years ago, a song I had written called Bad, and that was a pretty huge record. And then I also had a, a really big record with Tiesto that went platinum a few times too, so nice. that was fun. Awesome, so since you have um, all these platinum records, big question, where do you draw your inspiration from? Um, it depends on the song, you know, it depends on, uh, there's no black and white way of doing it. It's just kind of, I have to vibe out the, the writing process, I might come up with an idea, a melody, a hook, a lyric, uh, it could be a collaborative process. Um, but y you know, you get a good feeling about something when it's finished, you, you, you sort of go, oh yeah, okay. okay, this could do something. Okay, so what's your favorite genre in, in dance music right now? Uh, my favorite genre in dance would be, I, I love house, I'm okay. a house, I'm okay. all, okay. you know, and UK garage house, yeah. um, you know, I love my big vocal house records, so that's, um, yeah, ironically, I'm, you know, huge in the EDM community because of yeah. the, the records that I had success with, but I'm all house, house all music house? all night long. <laughs> house music all night long, yeah, yeah. Donnie D. Yeah, 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 there, the classics. There it is. Yeah. Um, so, in, if you love house, well, who are your favorite producers, your artists? Like, oh, there's there's a lot of people. Um, I had a record uh, just before this one with Salt and Shepherd, and they're really good house producers. Yeah. Um, there's there's a lot of really really. I mean, I love um, I love some of the stuff that Diplo's doing. Um, I, which you know he sort of crosses between house. Uh, Calvin Harris does yeah. a little bit of this fusion of house as well. Um, but oh, there's, there's, there's a lot of people. It's hard, hard to, you know, sort of pin that one down, really. Uh, where do you see the dance music industry heading? I think that we are shifting, and um, I like the shift, although you never know, because it's like, it goes from the big drop to the, I think vocals are becoming extremely important in, in dance genre, um, in the EDM scene, and I think a lot of the records are becoming, uh, you know, more, um, I don't want to say mainstream, but um, are able to, they're a bit more palatable to a wider audience. Yep. Um, so then that way you can still connect with, you know, more of a pop audience if you wanted to. So um, I think it's shifting in that way. That's, that's the way that I'm interested in where it's shifting. Okay. If I were a DJ now, there's other movements that are going on that would appeal to me and I'd be focused on. but. I don't really pay attention to that. So. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. Uh, what track are you most proud of? I'd, I'd have to. Well, that's tough. I'd have to say my record "Bad" with David Getter and Showtech because it did do so well, and um, we won several awards, and it, you know, it had over a billion streams, and 
Um, That's massive. Yeah, it was a massive. Billion is yeah, massive. Was, but I, I'm more proud of. Well, I'm not more proud, but I'm really proud of also like my own records. Um, I had a record with Afrojack just recently that did really, really well. Um, What's and it called? It's called Lost. Lost. Yeah. Okay. And then I did a song with Tiesto and Cashmere. I'm really proud of that one because when it did so well, and it was number one in over 30 countries around the world. Um, the cool thing about it was I got no to big perform. Deal. Yeah. <laughs> no big deal. <gasps> no big deal. <laughs> I, I got to perform with Tiesto everywhere at all the biggest festivals, Tomorrowland and you know Ultra and Electric Zoo, and that was fun because I got to see crowds internationally mm -hmm. all over the world sing my songs, and it was cool. He was really generous because. He was like, let's do our song, but while we're at it, let's drop, you know, bad as well. Mm -hmm. So I got to, you know, do these two anthemic big hits and people were just singing off the bat to it. And it, it's amazing when you see like hundreds of thousands of people singing your lyrics. Yep. That makes you kind of feel proud. You know? So I was at Tomorrowland and I heard you sing and Electric Zoo oh as well. Oh my God, you Yeah, were? and I think you were at Ultra too, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've, I've been... Oh, wow. Yeah, I've, been, I've been around the scene <laughs> oh a little God, bit. Oh my God, you were there. That's so cool. <laughs> I was one of the people singing. You were yeah, singing. Absolutely, I was singing with <laughs> He's you. He's like, I had the t my top in the air. <laughs> yeah, Sh shirt off. Yeah, it was shirt great. off. Festival vibe. Um, so I just want to take a quick second and pull a question out of the pop dust box. Yeah. It says, where would you go in a time machine? And um, I would go, this is gonna sound super, you know, uh, I'd probably go back to childhood Okay. Um, and spend more time with my father because I lost him when I was really young. Okay. So I know, I know. Sorry, not to do the buzzkill thing, <laughs> but I would do that so that I can have more time with my dad. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Do I pull another one out? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do another one. Let's, let's do was, another one. That was a sad yeah. moment. We gotta end, we, we gotta do this on a happy note. All right. Let's let's <laughs> let me say something cool. Okay. Uh, choose one: beach or snow. Ugh. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do one more? <laughs> Sorry, beach. <laughs> These are fun. <laughs> I just you never know what you're going to touch in here. Okay, what was your favorite childhood TV show? Oh, Astro Boy. Oh. Yeah, and Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Fresh I like that. Prince. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Astro Boy. Oh, The Goodies, which if you're from the UK, you would know. And uh, what other American shows? We always we got a lot of American shows too growing up. So oh, Full House. Full yeah. House, always Full House, classic. Yeah, yeah. Cut it out. Yeah. What's that? Cut it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so where can our fans see you performing next? So festival seasons seasons a wrap. Um, I have a couple of private events that I'm booked to do, okay. which you know I'm excited about, not open to the public. And then I'm doing a performance in Australia. Nice. Yeah, in December. It's the homeland. So, yep, the, in the homeland, a nice big one back that there, down there. Cool. And then just to end it, uh, where can our fans get more information about you? Just follow Your me, tours. you guys, at Vassy everywhere on Facebook or Instagram. Or Twitter, and uh, or you can just go to uh, www.com Vasi Music, and you can find me there. Awesome, and that's Vasi on Pop Dis Presents. Thank you. Bye. Yeah.